Hi, this is SynthChaser from SynthChaser.com, here with another ARP 2600 video. Uh, this one belongs to a customer who brought it in because he was using it and it started smoking, as they sometimes do. And we're going to hopefully make this a real quick video uh, showing how we, we find the offending component. Okay, so I've got this ARP 2600 open. And what causes things to smoke? Excessive current going through a part, more current than the part is rated for. And what causes more current to be going through a part? Oh, well, a short circuit. So I'm expecting, because this is the era of uh, bad little dodgy tantalum capacitors, I'm expecting one of the tantalum capacitors on one of the power rails uh, to be shorted. So we can, do, we can do a real quick test. I have it powered off. There's no point powering this on because it's only going to burn things up further. I have my multimeter set into continuity mode, so it... Now I have my multimeter set into continuity mode. So it will beep when there's a, a continuity or a short circuit. So I'm going to check first to confirm that that, that, that is the problem. I'm going to check between the ground and the plus 15 volt. It beeped, and then it's reading 563 ohms, which is okay. I'm going to check between ground and the minus 15 volt rail, and it's at a 327 volts. So it actually looks like there's no short on either of these power rails. Uh, but uh, let's check one more thing first. Let's grab the keyboard controller and plug that in. Okay. So I plugged the uh, keyboard controller. This is a 3620 keyboard, the duophonic one that, that is typically seen with these later 2600. So I've got it plugged in and still in continuity mode. Let's check. These are all, these should all be the same because they're all connected. So let's check between uh, 15 volts and ground. It beeps and goes to about 500 ohms and rising. Negative 15 volts. Aha! Nine ohms. I'll, hopefully you can see this, but you can hear it for sure. Nine ohms. And let's unplug this keyboard connector and go back there. 327 ohms, just like before. So the short is actually on the uh, short is actually on this keyboard controller. There's a circuit board with some electronics in here. So let's find out what's causing the short on the minus 15 volt rail uh, by pulling this out and having a look at it. All right, so I've got this opened up now so we can look at this circuit board and everything on it looks pretty reasonable. There's a couple little blue blob tantalum capacitors here. Uh, no, there's no signs of excessive heat, anything burned up or anything like that. Just to confirm, um, I'm gonna probe uh, these pins on the keyboard connector between the uh, ground, which is this one, and the minus 15 volts. And we're still getting our uh, nine or 10 ohms or so. So what would be the most likely suspect? The tantalum capacitors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in on the tantalum capacitors there. You can see that in the back. Uh, there's just two tantalum capacitors on this circuit board, and they are used for decoupling the plus and minus 15 volt rails. And watch what we're going to do. We're just going to go in here and we are going to cut them, cut them off. I've taken those out and now let's check to see if our short is still there. And there is no continuity at all. If I take this off, resistance is like 3.6, 3.6K. So our short circuit, and actually looking at it now, it may be hard to see, but if you take a look at this capacitor at the top, it, it looks a little bit browned um, compared to the other one. I mean, it didn't explode. I don't see any cracks in it or anything like that. Let's measure it with a multimeter. The one that looked okay, uh, I have this in continuity mode. Uh, it's not beeping. The one that looks a little brown on the top, there we go, 8.8 .8 ohms. We found our short circuit. If we were to put this back in now, 
uh, the synthesizer would work just fine. Uh, obviously we should replace the decoupling capacitors and I will replace the decoupling capacitors. And my customer is a smart guy. He knows that if one tantalum capacitor can fail like that and your synthesizer starts smoking, uh, obviously any of the other tantalum capacitors throughout this thing can and will do the same thing. So while this is here, I'm going to be going ahead and recapping the synthesizer, removing the failure prone blue tantalum capacitors and replacing them. And that should greatly extend the life of this synthesizer before it needs to go back for repair again. Since I have it open, I'm not going to close it up right now and, and show you that it's working. Um, I think we can see that, that the, the short was located and went away when the, the offending component was removed and we took a look at what needs to be done to prevent this kind of issue from coming up in the future. So uh, I promised this one would be quick, and it was. This has been Synth Chaser from SynthChaser.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Synth